Hello everybody, my name is John and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look at one of the most prevalent issues in Windows 10 and that is uh, screen flickering or simply screen flashing. And uh, we will look at some of the issues and how to go about these issues. So, let's look at uh, some of the causes and uh, or one of the Causes of uh, screen flashing is outdated display drivers, and uh, also screen flickering might also be caused by Windows service such as Windows Error Reporting Service and uh, Problem Report and uh, Solution Service. Number three, uh, might of, you might also have some applications or softwares in your machine that uh, might also cause screen screen flashing uh, such softwares include iCloud live update 6 and IDT audio and lastly uh, corrupt files are also known to cause this uh, problem so let us get started and see how we we can go about this issue so in order to uh, look at the first solution we're going to see how to go about uh, the window reporting error. So, just, uh, in the system search, just type in uh, or, or just uh, right click on the start button and click run. Type in, type in ms config hit enter open the system configuration then choose uh, services and click on service right here in order to arrange the list in alphabetical order so in order to find the windows server reporting service you're going to just you can press p or you can just scroll down but uh, pressing p is the shortcut and I look for problem uh, it is a window a problem report and solution or we can in some computers like mine you'll find a problem reports and control panel support uh, this one here and check this box and then uh, find a window Windows error reporting service, just uh, press W or we can scroll down and then f uh, find the Windows Windows error reporting service Windows error Windows right here and check this box then click apply and ok you will need to restart your machine for the changes to be applied so if uh, this solution didn't work for you we are going to the second solution and that is to <coughs> install some of the programs that we suspect might be the main course so in order to install any program in uh, Windows 10 uh, just type in the system search uh, control panel control panel click on it and then uh, look for program and features click on it so here we're going to look for the following programs if uh, they install in your machine if you have iCloud iCloud uh, and uh, iCloud, let me show you the spelling. iCloud, if you have the following programs, that is number one. You have the following programs, that is iCloud. Two. Uh, 
live up to live update live update six and number three if you have et audio if you have any of this uh, three softwares installed in a machine just look for them in a, in control panel then click in click on it none of them and it's to click then hit uninstall click next if uh, you have live update 6 click on it hit uninstall the uh, idt audio also if you have it so for me i i don't have them so I do not need to install anything because they are not in my machine. But you have them, just install and install them. So then you will need to restart your machine for the changes to be applied and the issue to be resolved. But again, if you are not lucky enough, you're going to look at the solution number three. That is to update the drivers. So you're just going to the system search and then type a uh, device type device manager then hit enter and it's going to open the device manager then uh, look for display adapter expand it uh, then we are going to right click on whatever on whatever traffic driver that is installed in your machine click on it and then click apply Choose the first uh, option which is says the which says search automatically for drivers. Click on it. Uh, mine looks good. Uh, it says the best driver for your device are already installed. So yours might be different. It will it will automatically look for the driver and then it will install automatically. So for me, I do not need to install anything because I have the best driver installed. So after inst installing, you need also to restart your machine. The changes to be applied, but again, if it didn't work for you, so most probably the cause of your problem is uh, corrupt files. So you're going to see how you're going to fix the issue. So just go back again to the system search and type in CMD the command prompt will pop up right click on it to run as administrator close that type in cmd again right click run as administrator click yes so we are going we are going to type the following code just type in the following code uh, type in di same space forward slash type in online space and then forward slash again type in clean clean up type in then uh, type in image Space again, forward slash and type restore head. Restore head. Uh, Say this DISM space forward slash online space forward slash clean up if an image a space forward slash restore health. Make sure you have typed in the correct code and then hit enter. So I'm going to wait for this uh, process to complete, then we'll proceed.
so it is complete uh, my machine has no issues but i believe uh, if you have this issue, the result will highlight the files that have got uh, problems. So, uh, the next step will type in the following code uh, SFC uh, space, then uh, forward slash, then SFC uh, space forward slash scan now then hit enter. The scanning process will start. It will take uh, some time. The process is complete and uh, the result it says uh, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation. So immediately this process uh, is completed. Uh, flickering or uh, screen flashing should be stop immediately. So hope uh, this video was helpful to you. And uh, please like and share this video and uh, subscribe to this channel so thank you and uh, have a lovely uh, have a lo lovely time thank you